We're at Jack Daly's Distillery. About to get Jack <laughs> Our day started off at the Welcome Center where we purchased our tickets for a whiskey tour. people are in that brigade? Too many. <laughs> but that's a brigade truck though. Which one is the brigade truck? <laughs> you so silly. So this is where it all began. Let me give you a little background information on how Jack made his way to this cave spring. Now Jack Daniel was born the youngest of 10 children. His mother died shortly after he was born, so his father decided to remarry. Now the woman his father remarried had three children of her own. So with the fact that the household was very full and Jack wasn't really fond of his stepmother, he asked for his father's permission to leave his childhood home. And he did just that at the age of six. So he began teaching Jack the art of whiskey making when Jack was about seven years old. For the next few years, Jack and Dan made whiskey together. And eventually the congregation approached Dan and made him choose between his whiskey making and his ministry. They said there was no sense in, in someone coming to preach about one spirit on Sunday and then making a whole other spirit every other day of the week. So Dan stuck with the ministry and sold his steel to Jack Daniel for $25 on loan when Jack was 13 years old. So now Yoda, I have a question for you. Would you ever have your kids at the age of eight learn how to make whiskey? Just have the number seven. Maybe. <laughs> if they turn um, into Jack Daniel. <laughs> Where is, wait a minute, Angela. But wait, but why did he run away when he was six? And, I know, and, and, and the daddy let him. And then, <laughs> but why did the daddy let him run away at age six, though? Wait a minute, I gotta ask you a question. Would you let Nadia, at the age of eight, run away and make whiskey? She wouldn't have to run away. I would just go ahead and put her to work at the age of eight, and then we'll have it as a family next year. Thank you. Are you enjoying your tour so far? I am. Yeah. I am. Last time they had a turkey on the road. Oh. And the joke was that, uh, what is that? What's that other whiskey that has turkey as the uh, uh, wild turkey? The wild turkey was over here selling secrets. Right? <laughs> just getting them. Just getting them. That's that is pretty good. We went on the wrong tour. We did. We went on Even though we had a good time. Tour. 
Yeah. However, we still have. We fun. Were, yeah. <laughs> and no, no, we were filming. <laughs> Yeah, we went on the wrong tour. We went on the wrong tour. And we should have this in our background. What? Oh, all the, all, the, all the barrels. Okay, okay, there we go. And it's good lighting over here, too. Okay, so we went on the wrong tour. The wrong one. They said 12. And so we were thinking, I did not even hear him say, I didn't even hear him say 12. So they said 12, and then they were thinking, oh, 12 o'clock. So I said, It makes, doo -doo. It makes sense to me, but we never been here before, so why would you depend and on the people? And they got to be Shelly. And they got to be Shelly. So then uh, what had happened was, at the end of the tour, they said, what? They gave us what now, Nayota? Lemonade. <laughs> And water. And no. water. And it and probably water. wasn't we even that spring water. water. It wasn't even I, the spring water from the nice little spring mm -hmm. over there that was like 58 no. degrees or whatever. No. I need that. I need that I spring. Need, yeah. that. I need that. I need that. I need that. So, we need to go find a spring that was. The fountain of youth. That's what it yeah. was. So we're just going to be drinking Jack every day. <laughs> we're premium. So you get barrel proof on this one too. The oh. barrel proof is. Single barrel is like one of my favorites. Oh, really? Is it good? Yeah. If for the ones just to take by itself, my all-time favorite, like I said, is do the you, honey do and you, fire mix. Do you um, drink them straight or do you chase them? Like, why are there strangers on our tour? Like, all you can work? How do you think you could come in with the No, I thought I'd get a call. <laughs> to meet up with you. Tennessee, that's 0.08, and they're trying to lower it to 0.01, so I'll have to take an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get our what? We didn't get, we didn't get our our flights at the end. They're like, like here they go. <laughs> <laughs> Was it three of y'all? Yeah, like, like they already mm -hmm. knew. Like those three, no. those three right These there. These crazy mofos. How do you get lost? You pay for a tour and did some extra. And we got a really good price. Split them up. We did get a price. Right. If you're military, you get in for eight dollars and fifty cents. Of course. What's wrong with her? So this is the store right here that has all the the Jack Daniels stuff. Right, I heard you. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I said, that's what I'm saying. Just had. 
Yeah, that was pretty good. That was a pretty good Lynchburg. Got on. That was pretty good. Your face didn't make it look good, though. It didn't. No. Do a different face. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> It's black blackberry. It, you can definitely taste the blackberry taste, but it ain't. Can like I taste it? Too, yeah. It's not like. Is this the, Yeah. Yeah. Taste it again. Look. Never mind. We got the one. It doesn't taste like you get drunk. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get. <laughs> and I said, taste it, not make love to it. <laughs> what is that one? Serenity. Okay. Muscadine. I smell the muscadine. That's why you're you want it? Do you want to taste it? I'm trying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you going to get a bottle? Oh, yeah. <laughs>